Welcome to USA Football's Put Pride Aside for Player Safety Education Series. By reviewing and sharing these safety practices, you can help educate and protect players at all levels of the game. How do coaches recognize concussion events? The answer? Be observant. Monitor players between plays, especially those that result in severe collisions. There can be many signs and symptoms of a concussion. They vary depending on what part of the brain is involved. Most of the time, they're subtle. Only about one of every ten players will lose consciousness. Coaches should make their judgment based on what the player feels and what the coach or parent sees. Players may feel symptoms including headache, pressure in the head, nausea or vomiting, balance problems or dizziness, double or blurry vision, sensitivity to light or noise, sluggishness, haziness, fogginess or grogginess, concentration or memory problems, and confusion. Players may also indicate symptoms vocally by saying that they don't feel right or they're feeling down. A coach or parent may see signs such as the player appears dazed or stunned, is confused about assignment or position, forgets an instruction, is unsure of game, score, or opponent, moves clumsily, answers questions slowly, loses brief or prolonged consciousness, shows mood, behavior, or personality changes, can't recall events prior to a hit or fall, or can't recall events after a hit or fall. Signs and symptoms of concussion generally show up soon after the injury, but the full effect of the injury may not be noticeable at first. For example, in the first few minutes, the player might be slightly confused or appear a little dazed, but an hour later, they can't recall even coming to the stadium. So assess the player, then assess them again, and then reassess the player later. Make sure that the player is supervised for at least one to two hours after you suspect a concussion. 